I'm quitting social media. Or more correctly said, I am quitting consuming social media. I will be focusing on creating and also not to waste my time mindlessly consuming social media content, wasting time that could be spent productively working. I found myself in like such a big rush of motivation and I want to create so many things I want to like I just want to make and put into the world and you know what I've realized my motivation is not the problem. My motivation is all the way up there especially right now and I kept thinking why can I not tap into this energy? Why can I not tap into just creating creating creating? And I realized it's because I'm sabotaging myself every time I take off my phone to watch something. My key for making a new habit stick is to think out in the future what are the possible things that could sabotage you from reaching your goal. And um, for me, when it comes to this kind of thing, is definitely boredom. So we're going out to do some Christmas gift shopping right now, but I need to pack a bag and make sure that I have everything I need so I don't get bored. I'm gonna bring a book that I'm reading right now. My calendar, because that's always a part of my bag. My laptop. This is important because also one of the reasons why I want to stop consuming so much is so that I can get more work done. So it's, it's a must for me. <clears throat> and my earphones, because one of the things that I still will be consuming is podcasts. That's my source of knowledge. I learn from podcasts. I only listen to educational ones. So bag packed, let's get out. <laughs> Let's look at some presents for family. When I was here with my dad before, a couple of months ago, I realized oh, this is a really nice gift place because a lot of the shops now is not just touristy. After COVID, they kind of changed back into their traditional ways, which is very nice. You can get some good quality stuff here. Nice for him or her, but then also nice for you. Also nice for my house. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, I just saw this one, but in the big, huge size, it was some to model. Yes. 30,000. Yeah. I took Angelina back to the tea shop, and, and he was so nice. He was like offering us, you guys should come up and see our little tea like rooms. So he told us to let you know that he didn't do the setting properly, so it's not as beautiful as usual, but I don't understand that because it's gorgeous. It's so beautiful, really. <laughs> oh, so cute! Oh, no more Oh, cool. Oh, cool. Thank you for being here with me. You're incredible. Thank you for sharing your feelings. Treasure, I have 
also prepared for potentially getting bored here at home <laughs> by buying a puzzle. I have not done puzzles since I was like a kid and we were in the summer house. That's usually that tradition. And I thought I would just start out real easy by getting a 500 piece puzzle of a painting of Paris. <laughs> That's me in a nutshell. I'm always like, I'm either not in at all or I'm in 100%. <laughs> so that's what we're gonna do. Or at least attempt to do. It actually went really well today. I did not look at my phone whatsoever other than responding to texts and uploading stories and also checking my email. I'm really surprised by how much I got to read in my book. I just actually never really get to read that much because I always end up looking at my phone and get distracted and then I start scrolling without even thinking about it and then I usually only, and this is a little bit embarrassed to admit, but I usually only read like 15 pages at a time. That's why I finish books super super slowly. But this time around I think I read a good 40 pages. <laughs> Still not fantastic, but better than better than before for sure. It's an improvement. But I listened to a podcast about mindfulness and it said that one of the key factors in mindfulness is to recognize and acknowledge that this very moment that you have here, you will never have the exact same moment again. I think that's a very interesting thing to think about. Um, in more of a conscious way and thinking about it a little more often because it's definitely gonna be a wake-up call and I'm saying wake-up call because a lot of the times we're we're walking around without really being aware of what we're doing right <gasps> we're seriously such like old people <laughs> We were so excited before looking out the house, like out in front of the door all the time because Jake, he's about to lose his shit over getting this vacuum cleaner and I'm about to lose my shit from getting new puzzles because I finished that Paris one. Also, what we just unboxed is all for the charging. Oh, and now it's the actual, the good yeah. stuff. <laughs> 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 I technically failed this morning. <laughs> I um, woke up and I went into the bed and I started scrolling. And I'm saying failing um, because it's obviously not what I had in mind to do. But the most important thing in a situation like this, especially for me, is to realize just because I slipped up doesn't mean that now it's over and now I can just continue to scroll. So I scrolled for a little bit and I was like, come on, Cecil. It's so typical, me and I think a lot of people, to in situations like that, then get up and be like, well, I failed, I might as well just keep going. We don't get anywhere with that mindset, my loves. I had to ask myself, is what I'm doing right now in aligned with the person that I wanna be? Mm, of course it's a no, I mean, I want to be able to make a promise to myself and keep it. That's a version that I want to be. And I think that that question is very helpful to ask yourself in any situation, to be honest. Anything you're doing, anyone you're with, any scenario whatsoever that you're finding yourself in these days. Just say, is this situation in alignment with the version of me that I want to become next year or now? Is this person that I'm being with right now in alignment with the energy that I want to be and embody. If not, then you know what to do. <laughs> okay, I'm not really sure if I'm digging this blue eyeshadow. I'm trying to make it work and then I'm gonna get dressed and head out to an event with me soon. She was doing a cocktail with the. What was it called? Terra School? Yeah, last year. That was yeah. fun. That was it, yeah. And now, that was really fun. But for this year, we made it like a hacker clip in Dembusso. And 
they inspired by the drawing for the actor on series there. So, ah, yeah. that's, that's the yeah, that's Danish the, artist. Yeah, Danish artist. Do you relate that? Oh. Oh. by the way. Again, the sommelier is back. Oh yeah, she loves it. I wonder if she'll use any of this footage actually. Or any of my voiceover. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm Cecil and um, today I'm having a Christmas party with my friends. I want this like in the foreground. Oh my god, look at this artsy shot. This is gonna love you. God, Freya, be more natural. <laughs> Uh, the camera doesn't exist. So I don't know. <laughs> Excuse my eyes. I've been crying a little bit because Sila sent me a seven minute voice message about how much she misses me. Ah, so frustrating. <laughs> You know, when love is this big, it's a blessing, but it doesn't feel comfortable, you know, because we're not together. Anyways, this video is not about that. I made myself some banana bread to feel better. <laughs> mm. I think I've nailed this recipe. Mm. You know, New Year's are coming up. And I think a lot of us have these things that we want to change about our lives. That's like, that comes with the season, right? New Year's resolutions and I want to do this and I want to do that. I want to work out more. All of these different things. And I think something that I have, um, that I've learned, especially throughout this week with social media, is that we're so obsessed with adding new things to our life. Being like, I want to work out more. I want to be more productive, I want to, I don't know, be more social and I think that could be very overwhelming and there are so many things that our life becomes this basket of a million different eggs and then nothing sticks because there's <laughs> too many things that we want to do and be and I think a better question to ask yourself is what can you take away from your life to bring you more of this peace that you're seeking? What can we take away instead of keep adding? What's no longer serving you? What's in alignment with you and what is not? And what is not in alignment with you, take it away. Taking away things that doesn't serve me and take up my time and my energy and drains me, like for example endless scrolling, gives me so much more in the end and yet it is not an effort to do more. This is actually an effort to do less and naturally with doing less, I start doing the things that serves me. So what can you take away from your life? And what will that bring you? Mm. I'm gonna take my bike and find a cafe and um, drink an overpriced latte while working. <laughs> That's the plans for today. Thank you. 
Because I'm feeling nostalgic about Sille, I think I want to go to the area that we usually went to go to cafes with. You hold this map, I'll hold your hand. Take this love around the world. Don't mind those crows buzzing around your head. Nothing's gonna hurt your girl. I believe you're here for a while, then we die. But I believe this love is stronger than you and I. Oh my god, it's snowing! <laughs> this is amazing! I was wondering if the white weather was more like Misemonji or snow. I'm <laughs> so happy. Oh, it's really cold though. I'm gonna jump on my bike and go back to my area and I'm gonna see Katie. We're gonna have a little cozy cafe evening together. everywhere in my face and I'm and I'm loving it <laughs> oh life is so good <laughs> a coaching practice call with one of my peers and my coaching class is starting in five minutes I think but I brought some red wine on the way home because it was snowing and I suddenly was craving a nice glass of red wine so since we're only gonna be in class I think I'm gonna nibble on a red wine while the first hour is going we are talking about positive psychology in the classes um, last week and this week and oh, it's so exciting like I think I have such a big passion of learning more about the mind and how our human body and mind and spirit works it's making me so passionate The first hour is actually a mentoring call. That's actually nice. I have some questions that I wanted to ask you, so that's really good. <laughs> Hi, Cecil. Morning. Hi, guys. Morning. Good, good, good evening from here. <laughs> oh, good Hi. evening. Yes, Cecil. Sorry. So. <laughs> done and I'm feeling amazing I'm feeling recharged I'm feeling passionate and most of all I'm feeling really proud of myself because the week is also over and I'm proud of actually having kind of you know mostly <laughs> stuck to my challenge that I gave myself I would love to hear if any one of you guys are jumping on the challenge together with me I think I'm definitely gonna continue it as much as possible um, maybe set up some rules around when I'm allowed to scroll and maybe set up a little mindful pra mindfulness practice before I start scrolling so that I am in the right headspace. Also, I'm going to Denmark um, next week, which is because of Christmas. I'm going and I'm so excited. <laughs> um, if you would like to give me a Christmas gift, you could. 
do kind of two birds with one stone by purchasing this Sin Lavender Dream Oil Cleanser and giving it to a family member or a friend or yourself and someone you love because that will be perfect gift for them and perfect gift for me. I just want to thank you all for supporting Sin so much and loving the products. I mean, I created them because I, I thought they were missing in the industry and I thought that they're the best ever, and they are, if you ask me. <laughs> As always, you can find the Sint links down below in the description box. <sighs> yeah, I do intend to sleep in my heat tech. <laughs> Jake and I are crazy like that. We love to sleep with the window open even though it's freezing cold and then we'll pound on so many blankets and warm clothes and it's the best when you wake up with a red nose I hope you are also sleeping well and that you're having a fantastic week I love you and thank you for watching this video bye thank you for being here with me You're incredible.